Hello, Joseph here. Just wanted to show you how you can create a flowchart from your code base. I use a tool called Cursor for this at the moment. And what you can do is you can open a chat window inside of Cursor. And in this chat window, you can select it to talk with your code base. And then what you can do is you can write a prompt, something like this. this. What feature does my project have? Can you, can you list them for me? And what Cursor do, does now, it searches through all your files in your project. And then it says like, based on the provided code base, your project appears to be a desktop application called Teaches Little Helper. And then it shows all the different features uh, which uh, a user can uh, use in, in this application. And after you have uh, created this list of features, you can write something like, can you give my code and the features create a comprehensive low chart using mermaid? Uh, mermaid. So what you can do now is once again I want to talk with uh, talk with the code. So I do the at sign. I go to the code base, and actually I would like to chat as well. I think it may, might have it. And then you say I say, can you give given my code and the features create a comprehensive flowchart using mermaid? And what it does now, it looks through the files once again, and then it constructs a uh, flowchart annotation uh, given with, with this uh, type of mermaid flowchart, which looks like this. And then what you can do is you can copy this text and go to Claude at the moment. So Claude right now features the ability to generate flowchart charts. So what you can do now is you can paste in this flowchart and then you can say please generate a flowchart given this diagram. And now it creates a mermaid flowchart. And voila. So now we can look at the flowchart here, so we can see. Um, doesn't want to. So we can see we have the start of the application. It looks if the user is authenticated or not, and if he isn't, we will show him a login window, which uh, forces him to log in until the authentication is successful. Then we open the main window, then we initialize different services and we load user settings and profile images and classrooms. And then we wait for a user action. And if the user action is download assignment, we will do this and we'll do some auto extractions and then we will up down, update download uh, status. And we can select download folders, we can open web pages and we can do all kinds of different stuff stuff and we can also see if there might be some problem here but this might not be 100 percent correct but it definitely can help a developer to get a quick overview of a current project um, i haven't tested it on bigger project but on smaller projects it works pretty damn good so i just wanted to share this tip and hope it might be useful for some of you so what i do is i use cursor to chat with all my code uh, you can do use other tools as well, but it's really helpful and it has a lot of other cool features. And then you can ask it to generate this uh, mermaid flowchart. And then you can, in Claude right now, you can create a, uh, a, a visual image of the show flowchart like this, which as you as a developer helps you to see the, the program flow and what you're trying to achieve with your program. That's all. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a great day.